PSD2 proposes a number of challenges for banks in exposing an API to developers in order for those developers to access consumer data and bring new and innovative solutions to the banks. Today, we're going to demonstrate to you our open API platform, our developer portal that can be used by both bank developers as well as third parties, our data enrichment capability, and a number of other solutions. By exposing the Yodely API from a bank perspective out to third party developers, Yodely will also perform an enrichment function on that data that it receives. We'll do categorization, merchant identification, geolocation, and a number of other functions that we think the banks will find valuable and in turn be able to monetize that data, as well as third parties uh, finding it valuable. We do all this at a highly scaled and safe uh, manner. We power over 60 million consumers around the world with our capability, and we are audited by hundreds of our bank customers around the world annually. With that, let me hand it over to my colleague, Devin, who's going to provide a demonstration of our developer portal, an interesting chatbot capability, all exposed by our open API framework. Devin? Thanks, Bill. Banking data is not for the faint of heart. It's complicated, distributed on various systems, and dispersed in different locations. And the security issues can be epic. Fortunately, we are the experts in API. And what I'm going to show you today is how our banks can offer open data via a white-labeled API, the trusted API layer between the bank and the developers. Let's get started with a look at how this works. First, getting set up is really simple and secure. The developer just creates a username and password and provides a few simple pieces of information to register themselves. I've already registered this user, so I've already signed in, and the developer then lands on the API dashboard. This is where they'll get the API sandbox details and the API keys to connect securely to the APIs. The developer will see here that the UR, they have the URLs as well as the integration guide. So they have all the information they need to connect securely to these bank APIs. Next up, what I'm going to show you is how they can find more information on these APIs. If you look at the, all the API endpoints that are provided here, uh, you know, from accounts, transactions, and other incredible in, useful information. For example, if we expand the account API, we can see the various services the developers can call. Developer can call the historical balances to look at and get the balances, or they can look at the investment accounts if they are interested in. If they are interested in getting to know about the transactions, for example, they can just expand the transactions API. And here, they can see all the services that they can call. They can call the category service to look at the enhanced categorization that our platform provides. Developers can leverage the enhanced uh, data enrichment capabilities through our platform to provide superior customer experience. And even getting net worth is just another API call away. So if you expand on derived, they can call the net worth service and get uh, net worth data. Now let's shift gears to see how it could be incorporated into a consumer chatbot app called Financial Assistant. This app creates proactive engagement for consumers to help them better manage their finances. And it takes the data intelligence to a completely new level for banks. Let's take a look at a scenario involving a consumer with a lot in student loans, but not a lot in savings. She's also expecting a signing bonus from her new job. This is where the data can be used in a chatbot interface to help your consumer to make smarter financial choices. Chatbot sends the user a message from her bank alerting her about a new deposit, the signing bonus she's been waiting for, and she has been planning to use this money to buy a new car. She taps OK on the message and sees that Tool has offered her some personalized insights on the best way to put the money to use. She's interested. So she taps Show Me and sees her new current balance, along with three suggestions on how to use the bonus money to make smarter financial de decisions. She scrolls through the recommendations, which are pay off your credit card, save for an emergency, or pay down the student loan. This all looks pretty simple, but there's a lot going on in the background. 
to get to these recommendations. Our investment yearly platform has analyzed one year's worth of consumer data, and then applied data enrichment and the predictive analytics to come up with these actionable recommendations. She taps on Learn More, and the graph shows just how much interest she has been charged over the last six months. <clears throat> Seeing these suggestions shows you how our data enrichment and predictive analytics can help banks to help their consumers successfully manage their own financial future in real time. Data intelligence equals actionable and smarter financial choices. And in this case, definitely not a new car. Bill? Great. Thanks, Devin. So in summary, we're going to provide an open API platform to you, the banks, to expose your back-end systems, your data to third-party developers that can speed the pace of innovation for the bank. And in doing so, Yodley will provide data enrichment that you can then use to monetize that data back out to your various consumers. We've got a very rich open API platform that we have demonstrated to you uh, this morning. And this is all available today. We power over 60 million consumers around the world in a highly scaled and secure environment. Please join us at our booth just outside this door for more review of this open API platform. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.